it's working okay yep because it's working you Hello friends, in this video I am going to prototype sanitizer dispenser machine. For that you will need these all components. For most we will need a microcontroller. Here I am using nano. You can use any other type of microcontrollers. For the sensing purpose you need HCC SR04 ultrasonic sensor. For switching purpose you can use relay modules or normal relays and also transistors for this purpose. For pumping the sanitizer you can use a DC pump like this or you can use a solenoid making use of an LED which will lights when the sanitizer is getting dispensed in my prototyping I am making use of a breadboard for setting these components but you can use a syrup to get the components soldered here I am using jumbo wires for the connection but you can use any type of wires for the connection okay last but not the least you need a power supply for the circuit okay here I am using a 9 watt battery but you can use any other type of rechargeable batteries like lead acid battery okay here you can see 6 volt 5 h and you can also use lithium ion batteries i mean a bunch of lithium ion batteries for this purpose and also a power adapter okay also you can use batteries combined with power adapter parallel for getting a standby connection now let's move on to the connection placing our arduino nano to the breadboard see our arduino is placed here we want to place our hc ssr04 ultrasonic sensor now i am going to take a 5 volt and a ground common from the arduino to the breadboard I had already returned the program for sanitizer dispenser. So according to the program, I am connecting the ultrasonic sensor to the Arduino. Okay, let's connect it. Our HST SR04 ultrasonic module. It have four lugs. You can see here. First one is VCC. Second one trigger. Third one echo. And fourth one ground. VCC is connected to 5 volt of Arduino. He had already taken a common ground and 5 volt here can see it okay and second pin trigger pin is connected to digital pin 10 of Arduino and third pin echo echo is connected to digital pin 3 of Arduino and ground is connected to a ground pin of Arduino we have already taken a ground here okay here you can see the connection first pin that is VCC is connected to 5 volt you can see here is connected to 5 volt common from the Arduino then second pin is trigger pin okay trigger pin is connected to digital pin 10 of Arduino okay you can see here digital pin 10 okay now third pin third pin is echo it is connected to digital pin 3 see this yellow wire okay digital pin 3 of Arduino and fourth pin ground it is connected to common ground you can see here the blue wire it is connected to common ground okay now we want to connect a relay module or a transistor for switching as i have already done the programming so according to the program this relay module is connected to arduino's 5 digital pin here, here it is here i am using 5 volt single channel relay module you can see its pins first one is in second one is gnd and third one is vcc first pin in is connected to digital pin 5 of arduino okay and second pin gnd is connected to ground of arduino and vcc to 5 volt of arduino for powering this relay module we need 5 volt that we can take from arduino common in the left side you can see there are three terminals the three terminals on our relay module okay first one is normally open 
second one we want to apply our power here on the second terminal and the third terminal it is normally closed okay at initial there will be no connection between first and second pin that is normally open pin and the power pin okay so there will be no connection between the load and the power that means the, our circuit will be open okay after we apply a signal here that is at the in pin then these two uh, these two terminals will get closed these two terminals first and second terminals will be get closed okay you want to connect your load here okay so initially there will be no connection between first and second pins so first and second terminals okay after applying a signal here at the in pin then these two terminals get connected and our sanitizer will get dispensed that is our pump or the sound load will get activated and the second and the third terminals are normally closed that means our circuit will be closed if you connect if you connect your load on the third pin okay so in this case we want to connect our uh, our load on the first pin i hope you understand okay now we have connected our module now we have connected our relay module to the arduino first pin that is in pin to d5 of arduino second pin ground and third pin to the 5 volt of arduino that is we have taken a common here okay, to that we have connected our arduino uh, sorry our module relay module now we want to connect our load that is our pump dc pump to relay module okay i have already told you we, we want to connect our load to first terminal that is normally open terminal of relay module so we want to connect the positive wire of pump to first terminal of relay and the black black wire to arduino's ground we have already taken a ground there now i am taking a ground from here to this side so i can easily connect our ground to here okay now i have connected our load that is our pump to the relay module you can see the positive wire is connected to relay's first terminal that is normally open and the black wire is connected to arduino's ground i have just taken a ground from that side of breadboard to this side okay don't mess up with the connection okay now we want to give the power supply to the relay for powering our motor that is pump okay now for powering our pump i am giving a 5 volt at the center terminal of the relay okay center of the, this is the center terminal i am giving a 5 volt here from the arduino okay and for the arduino i am using a 9 volt battery to power the arduino okay from that arduino we are taking 5 volt to power relay module and also hcsr04 ultrasonic module see i just added a power power supply that is 5 volt from the arduino to second terminal of our relay module okay, now i am connecting an led in parallel to the pump using a resistor okay it's a resistor i am adding an led okay. for this lighting when the sanitizer is dispensing okay use a resistor for protecting the led now i have added an led here you can see okay we have added an led here now we can upload our program okay i'm connecting it to my computer okay you can see our led module just light up okay now we can upload our program okay, now we can just look into our program here at the first section we want to declare our variables okay you can see hash define echo pin Okay, we have given the echo pin to little pin 3 of Arduino. Okay, here it is trigger pin. We have given it to digital pin 10 of Arduino and relay pin to 5. Long. We have declared the variables duration and distance. Okay, and coming to here, we want to set the pin as output or input. Okay. 
the trigger pin is output pin okay trigger pin is output pin so we set it as output then echo pin is an input pin okay and relay as output the relay is normally low it's active low component our relay is active low component so we want to write it here low to low for the relay to be on okay and high to the relay to be off okay and delay after each dispensing we can give a delay in between so according to this value our pump works for pumping the liquid that is our sanitizer and second delay after each dispensing how much time you want to wait for the next dispensing okay i hope you understand okay you can change the distance here okay okay now we can just upload our program it's compiling okay now we have successfully uploaded our program you can check it now we can just remove our data cable and power it using battery let's connect the positive of our battery to v in of arduino and the negative to ground of arduino okay here i am using a 9 volt battery okay v in and here the ground okay we want to connect the anc to v in positive to v in and negative to ground of arduino now we have connected our battery to the arduino okay it is powered you can see now we can check it okay yes it's working okay yep yes, it's working you can see here if you have any doubts regarding this project please contact me okay thank you